everyone. Welcome to My Fitness. It's Coach RJ of Sleep and School. I am pleased to welcome you in today's homework. Today we'll be doing functional bodybuilding, which consists of three parts. First part is bodyweight blast, where we start to warm up and pump our body. Part two is my favorite part, bodybuilding part, where we sculpt, tone, and strengthen our muscles. And lastly, we'll be focusing our core muscles to achieve that sculpted and defined arm. So, what are you waiting for? Do your pre-workout stretches and join me as we burn calories in this easy to follow 30 minute functional bodybuilding workout. Let's start with the warm up. First movement. Sprint, jog in place, fast pace, high knees. Imagine you're chasing something. Option, just jog in place. Then keep going, keep going, chest out, straight body. All right, good. Knee drive, side, just hop. Option, no hopping. Power lunge. Blow the right leg for 8 counts. Up for no hop. Lunge and lift. Foot stays in the same spot. Right hands up, chest out. Walk around your back. Transfer to other side. Same. Same spot. Foot stay. Blow the, blow the left side this time for 8 counts. Good. This time this is Playo. Sumo. Wide stance, jump, to narrow stance. Chest out, butt out. Option no. Happy. Go, keep going. Nice. We'll do another round for our warm up. This is jog in place. This time, the faster pace. Knees high, keep going for 15 seconds. Nice, keep your Let's keep going. Knees high. Fast pace. Switch your hands. Nice. Next movement. Skipping. Up. Knee drive forward. To side. Keep going for eight reps. Then switch to other side. Still eight reps. Maintain your pace. Swing your arms. Alright. Nice. Third movement. Power lunge. One spot for your right lunge. Up. Again, you have an option. No hopping. Arms down, up. Keep going for eight reps. Then switch to other leg. Same spot. Make sure your knees will not be over your toes. Keep going. Eight reps. For the last movement of our warm up is Palayo Sumo. Wide stance, butt out, chest out. Nice. Up, drop down, narrow stance. Very good. Doing 10 reps. Keep going. And we're done. This is our body weight blast. Superset first one to four movements. We're doing it straight, then rest in between rounds. We will proceed with our body weight blast. First movement is hip hinge to pop jump. So straighten your legs, bend your body, reach down, bend your knees, then pop jump. That's it. Second movement. This is Palaya Jack, just like jumping jack, but you have to touch your hands to the ground. Then jack. That's it. Third movement. Lateral lunge to cross body knee drive. So lateral, bend your knees, touch cross body, then kick knee drive opposite side. So this is alternating. And lastly, 
This is called squat to oblique crunch. So squat first, then bend your knees to side. This is alternating. So again, squat there, then knees to side, kick, bend your body. That's it. So we'll be starting. This is our body weight blast. Super set first one to four movements. We're doing it straight, then rest in between rounds. Anna now is doing the first movement, which is the hip hinge to pop jump. She'll be doing 10 reps. Nice and easy. Right. You can see, straighten your legs. Then squat, twist your legs, then good. On to our second movement. This is layer jacks. Again, we'll be doing 10 reps. Make sure body straight, arms straight, swing it, going up. Third movement, lateral lunge. So cross body, knee drive. We'll be doing it one side first. 10 reps. That's it. Keep going. Then shift. Other side. Still 10 reps. That's it. Perfect form. Make sure you have proper breathing. Last one. Squat. Oblique. Crunch. You see, when you do the oblique crunch, you need to bend your body, squat, that's it, just out, and you squat, 10 reps. After this, we'll rest for a minute or two before we proceed with our second round. Our now proceed the second round. So we'll rest first two to three minutes, then we'll proceed. First movement, hip pinch to pop jack, still 10 reps each movement for one round straight, nice, keep going, again make sure not too fast, not too slow, arms touch the floor, Straight legs, then bend your knees, just out, butt out, then jump. Second movement, pop jack. Nice. Make sure swing your arms up, touch the ground, wide stance, just like jumping jack, but with your hands touching the ground. Nice. On to third movement, lateral lunge, cross body, knee drive. Again, reminder, finish this one side. Right, as much as possible between movements, less rest. Make your body sweat. Right, this time this is the other side. Almost done, the third movement. Nice. Finally, is squat to oblique crunch. So
so for this video we're we'll doing two rounds but if you have time you can do an option for another round for another three rounds as long as you rest two three minutes before you start with the superset nice First movement of the bodybuilding part is deadlift to squat clean. So, object pull towards your chest, then directly squat. And do it again. So, again, the ground pull towards your chest, then squat. Make sure that's out. Second movement. Roll, then over roll. So this alternating, right, first, then to left. Make sure you bend your knees, bend your body, but make sure it's not round. Straighten it. Elbows close to your body. So I'll be doing two rounds of the first two movements. This will be super set. 10 reps each. So the first movement is deadlift to squat clean. Make sure better to do tempo for this movement. So from there, deadlift, pull to your chest, then squat. 10 reps, slow and easy. Make sure you do as fast. Better you do tempo, two seconds, going down, squat. Push your knees out, flatten your heel. Going to second movement, bend over row. So alternating, right, then left. Doing 10 reps still. Elbows, not far from your body. Straight on your back, knees out. No need to stand up straight while so doing this. So, we're doing another round for this. You have an option to do three rounds. Rest maximum of three minutes before you start with your second round. Again, it's called deadlift to squat key. You can use any object, even a water gallon, to help to do this movement. There, slowly down. Pull, then squat. Breathe in, breathe out. Second movement. Deep breath and pull. Again, bend over row. Alternating right, first, then left. Object to be aim towards your chest and pull. Now, proceed with the third movement, which, which is the split squat. Make sure you wrap your weight, your shoulders, lunge in place. Make sure your knees do not be over your toes. Shift your weight to the other side. Then, do a static lunge. We'll be doing 10 reps of each per side. For our last movement of the bodybuilding part, this is called clean and press. 
So from the ground, we're doing alternating from right to left, clean to shoulders and press. Side view, so clean to your shoulders, then press. Make sure you do head throw. The arm when you press, in line with your ear. Alright, start. First round. Alright, clean it. Make sure it's firm in your shoulders. Hold it. Make sure your other hand is not touching anything. Then do a static lunge. Hold again. Split squat. Doing 10 reps. Ideally, do a lunge. Two seconds down, two seconds up. Then transfer to the other side. So left arm. Lunge with your left leg. You're doing your right arm. Lunge with your right leg. Then press and transfer to the other side. So that's back and forth. For TP, you can use any weight you can find. Maybe a bottle of water. We're doing 10 reps total for this movement. Again, proper breathing. You press, straighten your arms before you bring it down. And not too fast. Control as we're going down. Won't hurt your back. If you're doing two rounds of this, you have an option to do three rounds. Do two to three minutes rest before we start your second round. Bodybuilding part of the program. You have to go slow. This is not a fast pace movement. Make sure you feel the tension. Straighten your back, you pull, 
shoulders, then press. Tighten your core when you pull and press. Don't be in a hurry. Alright, keep going. Again, this is 10 reps. Now, almost done. Our last part, everyone's favorite, the core. First movement is mountain climbers. So, first position is high plank, then alternating knee drive. Make sure your feet will not drag to the ground. Second movement, alternating cross body, knees to elbow. Make sure your feet will not be touching the ground. If you can't do it, just place your feet in the ground and twist your torso and knees to elbow. Bend your knees towards your elbow. Third movement is called wood chopper. Ideally, you have to use weight. You're simulating, you're wood chopping something. So, overhead, then pull the weight, then twist your torso towards the opposite side. Engage your core. Last movement is called knee tucks to V ups. Elevate your back and your legs. No touching the ground. Knee tuck is bend your knees towards your chest, then straighten your legs up. Heel version, touch your feet to the ground. Rep is knee tuck to V up. That's one rep. Our core will be doing the four movements straight, rest. Ideally, we'll be doing three rounds. For this video, we're we'll just doing two rounds. Now, for second movement, it's cross body, knees to elbow. Then you can do 10 reps. Make sure you can feel your core. You can feel your core to do something wrong. Twist your body so slowly, not too fast. Now, a wood chopper. I like this movement because it's functional. Like you're cutting wood. Let's see your leaks. Twist your torso. Make sure no sudden movement that you want hurt your back. Really do 10 to 12 reps for this movement. body also moves forward. Make sure your hands flat to the ground. Rest 2-3 to three minutes before we proceed to the second round.
Then mountain climbers. Mountain climbers, straighten your back. Don't slouch. Squeeze your butt, then knee drive. Do 30 reps. Minimal of 20 30 seconds before you proceed to the second movement. Cross body, knees to elbow. Make sure your hands will not be touching your head. All right. On to our third movement. Again, this is wood chopper. We're almost done, guys. The last stretch. Make it count. Nice, twist, no sudden movements. Make sure your weight is overhead, then chop. Nice. Gauge your core again. Finally, the last movement. Make sure you do quality reps. Knee drag, knee to chest, and straighten the legs. That's knee tucks and V up. Make sure you feel your abs after this. Alright guys, that concludes our functional bodybuilding workout for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do cool down and stretch those workout muscles. Currently, we are doing virtual classes via Zoom every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 4 p.m. Stay fit Cebu would like to be a part of your fitness journey during this pandemic. Apart from functional bodybuilding, we offer calisthenics, yoga, Olympic weightlifting, and functional fitness. You can join us in our online group classes or get a personalized training program from one of our coaches. Do follow us on our social media account on Facebook and Instagram for updates on our promotions and reopening. Shoot us a DM and we'll be happy to answer all your questions. Once again, thank you very much for accompanying me today and hope to see you next week for another calorie busting home workout. Stay safe and stay fit.